Hi guys, this is Jeff Austin again. I'm a Canadian endorser for Sonar Drums, Big First Sticks, Protector Cases, and Simpad products. Uh, this is the second video in a four-part series on how to do basic fills around the drum set using the popular drum method book, Syncopation by Ted Reed. So once again, what we're going to do is we're going to turn to page 60 to 63. That's where this exercise takes place in syncopation. So on number one, we have the accent on beat one. So that accent is going to be played on the cymbal with our bass drum. So what I recommend that you do is you split your body into two parts. So if the accent is played with the right hand, you're going to play it on a cymbal that's on the right side of the body. If the accent is played with your left hand, you're going to play an accent on the cymbal, on a cymbal that's on the left side of the body. So number one, we have the accent on beat one. So that's with my right hand. So I'm going to be putting that on my ride cymbal. I only have two cymbals. Simple setup. So my, with my bass drum, okay, and all the unaccented notes are going to be on the, on the snare drum. There is no hi-hat pattern in this exercise. So for number one, what we're going to do is we're going to play beat one on the ride cymbal and the bass drum together, and all the other notes are going to be on the snare drum. Let's try that one and see what that sounds like. So hopefully that makes sense. What we're going to be doing now is I'm going to be playing a rock beat, okay? So again, like in the first video, I'm going to be playing three bars of a rock beat, and then I'm going to be playing the fourth bar is going to be my fill to give it a four-bar phrase. Great, so now let's try number four. So in number four, we have an accent on beat one, beat two, and beat four. So those are all with my right hand, so I'm going to be playing them all on a cymbal on the right side of the body, be it a crash, ride, splash, it doesn't really matter. That's going to be on beats one, two, and four with my bass drum, and all the unaccented notes are going to be on the snare drum. Okay, let's try that one. Now let's try it with a rock beat. Three bars of a rock beat, and then the one bar fill. As we go farther down the page, when we get to number 16, we see that the accent falls on the third 16th note of the of beat one. Okay, so that's one E and. Okay, so it's still with my right hand, and I'm going to be playing that on a cymbal on the right side of my body with my bass drum, and all the unaccented notes are going to be on the snare drum. Let's try number 16 with the three bars of a rock beat to put it into context. So that's page 60. Let's go to page 61. On number 20 is one that we're going to look at next, and that has an accent on the third 16th note of beat 1 and the third 16th note of beat 2. Okay? So that's going to be with my right hand on the ride cymbal for those two. So let's try it with three bars of a rock beat.
In number 31, this is where it can get a little bit difficult. Now, in 31, the accent is on the second 16th note of beat 1. So that's 1 E. And that's to be played with my left hand. So I'm going to be playing um, the accent with my left hand on a cymbal on the left side of my body. Now, the hard part about this is lining up our bass drum, which I'm playing with my right foot, with my left hand. And that can get a little bit tricky in terms of coordination. Let's just try number 31 without the rock beats first, just to see what that sounds like. So now let's try it with three bars of a rock beat to put it into some context. So you can see that lining up my left hand with my bass drum can give you a little bit of a coordination problem. So if that's the case, start slow and just build up your tempo gradually. On number 35, we're going to be playing um, a cymbal with my left hand on the E of 1 in the E of 2. Let's try that with three bars of a rock beat. So that brings us to page 62, starting with number 46. This is where the fun kind of happens for me. So the way that it is in number 46, beat 1 is going to be with my right hand on my ride cymbal. The next accent falls on the E of 2. That's going to be with my left hand on the crash cymbal. The next accent is on beat 3. That's again my right hand on the ride cymbal. And then the next one is on the E of 4, and that's with my left hand on the crash cymbal. So let's try that with three bars of a rock beat, and uh, we'll see how that works. down the page, let's look at number 49, and let's try that with three bars of a rock beat. So hopefully you guys can see some applications for like drum fills and drum solos and different things like that. Um, let's look at number 53. It's kind of a personal favorite of mine and a lot of my students that uh, I take through this exercise. So let's try 53 um, with the rock beats and then you can see kind of how you know a lot of drummers use this. I've seen Steve Gadd use it. I've seen Simon Phillips use it. Um, it's just a, a really cool flashy little fill that uh, hopefully you guys can get some kicks out of. Okay, So let's try 53 with three bars of a rock beat. So now let's try 54 
and we'll see how that works. Page 63, number 61 on the top of the second column there. Um, all these accents are played with my right hand. And for me, I'm going to be playing that on the ride cymbal. And I'm going to play that with three bars of a rock beat. Let's check out and see what that sounds like. On 68, these are two bar fills. So what we're going to do is we're going to shorten our rock beats to play two bars of a rock beat and then play the two bar fill. So we're still keeping the four bar phrase. So let's just try 68, see what that sounds like with two bars of a rock beat. this video, the second video in the four-part series. So the next video series that I'm going to be putting together uh, is again from page 60 to 63, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing double strokes on the non-accented notes, which is on the uh, on the snare drum. So that'll be coming out probably in a couple weeks here. So if you um, have any questions, you can contact me through YouTube. Uh, you can also look at uh, Jeff Aston's Drum Academy on Facebook, or uh, you can check out our website, which is just jeffsdrumacademy.com, or you can check out jeffaslin.ca. All the links are below, but thanks. Please subscribe to the video, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.